Hey guys, getting this spinning bar while trying to commission your Tesla wall connector? I'm gonna show you how to fix it coming up. Easiest thing to do is try and put the put your phone on airplane mode. So do that first and then go ahead and do all the connection thing. As you can see, I'm already connected. I don't think it really matters. So that's the easier way to do it. Try that first and see if that works. If it doesn't work, here's a more advanced way is the Tesla wall connector is only good for WPA2 security. Most routers today are actually WPA3 security and that's the disconnect. So they're not talking to each other. So you need to actually change your router to WPA2 or just turn it off for a little bit so you can get connected to your Wi-Fi. So in order to do that, here's how I do it on mine. I have a Netgear Nighthawk router. We go into the app, go into Wi-Fi settings, only 2.4 gigahertz for the wall connector. So you have to get into your 2.4 gigahertz network and then go to security methods. So if you go to that option, then you can change it from WPA3 to WPA2 or just turn it off altogether. So try those two things and here's how to commission. Get your quick guide and scan the QR code on the front. That's gonna hook you up to the network for the wall connector. So go ahead and hit join. And then what you wanna do is go and in, go into your settings and go into your Wi-Fi. So settings here. And there you can see I'm connected to the wall connector. Open up Safari, put in that IP address. And then what you wanna do is put in your Wi-Fi. It has to be the 2.4 gigahertz network, so it doesn't do 5.0. So that's my 2.4 hook up to your Wi-Fi so you can get firmware updates and things like that. And then after you've done that, go ahead and go back. And then you can set your breaker size as well. So that's kind of important. So that way the, you know, the wall connector knows. So I'll go ahead and hit United States. We want 60 amp breaker, so I don't have to do anything. Just hit save. Now you're done. I'm not gonna go over power sharing because I only have one. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully one of those two tips helped you commission your Tesla wall connector. And thanks for watching.